Hello everyone and welcome back to This is the Police. Goldberg. Oh, that's the name of the newspaper. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Construction of cinema, cinema museum postponed again. Legendary singer, I hate names, Jen Aro Crispo comes to Freebird. Okay. And I'm still driving this crappy car. Really gotta change some parts in this crappy car. When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask for a day off. Sometimes officers will request days off even when they're at full strength. Some of the reasons you will hear are far-fetched, while some are very serious. Do, don't overindulge your subordinates. But don't antagonize them either. Remember that everybody's got secrets and you've got to make sure these guys have your back. Right. Our house burned down last night and my elderly father was inside. Uh, we need to somehow make sense of this and then start planning the funeral. Can I take off work today? Well, death in the family Wait, your father's still alive? No. But yeah, death in the family gives you three days off. That's just how it is. But uh, without a, without some documentation proving it, it's not. You don't have to give them the days off. In addition to their performance rating, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank and can be evaluated in rank with one, two, or three stripes once a week. You can pass out stripes and improve the rank of any employee. If you think no one is worthy of the honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later insignias. Until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Employees of rank not only increases in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking officer is on the scene, he or she, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get rank, gets rank, they start thinking more serious about their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Yeah, I know. I know. My boss ain't like that. My boss don't care at all. All right, let's start the day. I said I can give out up to three stripes every week. I think that's what it said. Anyway. Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. Wait, I'm going to read that again. That didn't sound right. Freebird isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. That doesn't make sense. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time, just like in real life. Well, the life of your grandfather. So this is a game that knows it's a game. This one looks kind of interesting. All right, reserved. Play it. Let's find out. Play it. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops. I'm just now learning that. Affairs. Police station. Labor market. You have certain number of paid op job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Uh, okay, let's select this guy. Okay, no, no, I get to action choose. Right, how do I scroll down? Just by moving my cursor. Okay, uh... Probably need more detectives. Police view. 
political views on your own. How do I scroll down further? I want to scroll down further. All right. We'll hire this one. No, wait, hold up. This one's got, it. yeah, yeah. We'll hire him for shift B. Profession. Want to free up a slot? Time to fire somebody. Uh, get rid of Roy. Fire! Okay, if you have legal grounds for termination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legally be... Uh, legality be damned. But that could land you in additional proceedings and will and your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about actually doing their jobs. Another way to free up slots is to have police officers killed. But that's not really a valid option, right? Then why bring it up? That worries me. Alright, fire legally. Too old. Huh. This action results in serious consequences. Too old. Close. Alright, police station. Let's go back to the labor market. Uh, Alright, uh, da, 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 da. let's hire this one. For shift... No, wait, no, no. Ah, well, apparently shift B's got a lot of uh, cops. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, police station. Back one. No, no. Ah, well, crap. I hired him for the wrong ship. Okay, well, either way, that's taken care of. Alright. Here we go. Let's send... Roy's fired. But apparently I can still send him out. So he's still hired for today. Alright. Vandalism at the St. John's Cathedral. We received a frightened call from the local cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered that someone entered the old ceremony during the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic symbols and some have been broken into pieces. It seems there are even marks from a shovel, but the abbot wouldn't say more. Alright. Father and son combo. Get to work. Okay. Vandalism. More vandalism? Well, two don't make a pattern, I suppose. <clears throat> Businessman Harley Jones, looking out his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Roy and you, get to it. Oh, come on. How, does, how do they escape so easily? And how do I file following following reports just in case you know, the criminals come back later? Okay. Suspicious individual at Eddie's Burgers. A waitress named Millie reports that she just served a chicken Eddie and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who's who's she's who she'd seen on television just this morning. The culprit is sitting in the window eating a burger. Be a false alarm, we'll just send one cop. Ah, oh, wait, what if it's not a false alarm? Gotta be more careful about that in the future. Alright, and escaped again. Great. I don't know why they're constantly escaping. False alarm. Okay, good, 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 good. I, I did it correctly. Lewis Nightclub. King Lewis Nightclub. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer, stuffed himself with Mexican food again, and now he can't get off the can. Meantime, the line outside the club is stretching around the block. We need someone outside who can tell the cool guys from the pump. Sounds good. We'll go ahead and send Birch. Yeah. That's cool. To protect and serve. 11, 11 in progress. Drug sales at Sands, at Sands Ice Arena. Ah, uh, this guy. Okay, so this is Christopher Sands Ice Arena. 
and a non an anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating ring is selling crack to teenagers. Yeah, but it's Sans Ice Arena. Uh, I hope that doesn't cause trouble. I really do. Four eleven in progress. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. The one night I pulled in more cash than I earn in a month working at this dump. Thank you for the help. Alright, well, I got paid. Ooh. Suicide threat. Ooh. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire unless his favorite chewing gum becomes popular again. What a dumbass! Well, that day ended quickly. Looks like we have a situation here. Drug sales. As police arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for kids. Take the clown into the ice and round up any witnesses. Onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Carefully watch the cl cl clown from the stands. Cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be an illicit customer. I want to say shit. Alright, I made the right decision. I love when I make the right decision. Alright, I gotta wait for. Yep. Alright, suicide threat. He escaped. Unharmed. Okay, well, he may escape, but he's not dead. That's the important part. Not dead. Alrighty. So, Bert Butch quit, which is gonna really piss off the son, and Roy got fired. I'm gonna have to fire that other guy, too. Alright, day four. When the time is right to reveal his identity. Okay. Feminist organization denied official registration. Enemies using feminists to destroy. Well, doesn't this touch on some political nonsense? Whenever I'm alone at home and there's a knock at the door, I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? To get to my front door, really? the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus stop, jumping over mud puddles and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either, but according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. She patiently listens to them, asks them questions, regales them with pastries, and never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Today I'm a little rougher still. Shut the door in his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. In my life, even the basic stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene, or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but... All three of our sons supported me. The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura ran off with is young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Fortunately, Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we have an agreement. Sally's gonna track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid, which of course means anything at all. Why it's a crazy situation. I'm the like police that. chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. 
but I can't afford to lose Sally as an ally. So for the moment, I had to swallow my pride. But why would you? Hello. Like, why would you want to? Mrs. Markham, back this is Boyd. After oh, that. is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At my police building, we find people faster than a funny old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses. They'd give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. And you have nothing, Jack. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back into that, Sally. Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, yeah, so if you stop loving me, to. I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? Crappy car. Dude, really wants to fix his car. Alright, shift B got a bump because of that mess of a mine. Give you a strength. Uh, how do I do this? How do I? How do I do this? I figured it out. You know what? I'm gonna save that one. And how do I fire? Because this guy needs to get fired. Okay, apparently I can't fire them until the day actually starts. Let's go with our... I like this one. Alright. Alright, affairs. First and foremost, I have to fire Birch Jr. Fire. There is no legitimate reason to fire. Uh, not efficient enough on the job? How about that one? Okay, so apparently I can't fire him. Well, Price. Can I fire Price? Yes, I can. Okay. I want to get rid of all the low people. Here. Okay. Destruction of property at City Hall parking lot. Ooh. Doing that. That guy's stupid. A member of the city's cleaning crew saw an elderly man approaching some expensive cars in the parking lot carrying a long iron rod. The whole street could hear him shouting, Bastards, thieves, bloodsuckers. If someone commits a serious crime and flees the scene, the case goes to your detective. Oh. Homicide. Oh, never mind. They investigate the crime scene invest and interview witnesses and gather whatever information seems pertinent. One of your detectives will be lead investigator on the case. Excuse me. You can assign additional detectives to any case who will work under the lead investigators as subordinates. The more professional the lead investigator, the more efficient the team. Okay. Okay, well, obviously, Mole's lead then. And we'll send both because I doubt I can just send one next time. Plus, it's a homicide. I want to. Okay. Black activist Ronnie Moore was found shot outside his home. Hopefully that doesn't turn into something really bad. Oh, wow. A racist gang has recently made some trouble in the city. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to kill all black doctors, firemen, and police. 
We don't need any more dead police, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers and even some of our citizens support them. You'll have to fire all your black employees over the next two days due to mounting racial tensions. Fuck! I hate corrupt mayors. I don't know what I'm going to do about that day yet. yet. I, have to, I have to think about it. I, I don't know. Carjacking at a gas station. A gas station surveillance... No, carjacking. Okay. A gas station surveillance camera recorded a car that's on the stolen vehicle list. Construction of property. Suspect. Investigation has started. Detectives have interviewed witnesses, collected evidence from the scene, and are pursuing the investigation. Expect results. Okay. A drunk witness drove by in a sedan and they shot like a machine gun. I didn't see much. Neighbor. I only heard a few muffled shots. A uh, neighbor. He got what he deserved. He's been causing trouble for a long time and recently there's been lots of cussing and carrying on. Just a witness. I don't remember the car and the neighborhood was quiet. I never heard any shots. Right. Well, he was shot. So. The police these days don't do anything. I almost died myself. I went to buy some medicine and was nearly hit by some idiot's car. Okay. Why does the drunk sound the most believable? Okay, sequence. Okay, so we know he was standing in the front door and then died. Black activist friend, you already read that. Okay, uh, well then there we go. Um, there's nothing I can do there. Oh, maybe I have to put it together then? Archive, case. All right, well, we'll come back to that later. I have no idea exactly how to do that, and that was just, I don't know, an introduction to it. So what I mean by this game should, like, I'm definitely playing the... Ooh, I'm getting so excited. It's dealing with so many themes. I like it. It's like, I love strategy games. Love them. Suspicious individual at Dyer's Park. Or Desire's Park. <clears throat> Whatever the name is. Bad with names. You should know that about me by now. Corey Ramsey, mother of several children, several children, that's, your, that's as accurate description as you can get, several children, has expressed her concerns about a suspicious man wearing bifocals, you mean glasses? Come on. Seated on a bench outside a playground. Wait, what, what year is this? I forgot. It, does, it hasn't stated a year. I don't know. He's been watching the children for over an hour and has taken several photographs. Yeah, that's fucking highly illegal. Now, you know what? I don't want this guy getting away. Let's send... Let's send you to You don't... You don't take photos of people's children at a park. You just... You don't do it. I, like, he needs to be brought in for questioning. That's all I'm saying. His camera needs to be confiscated and found out what exactly he was taking pictures of. If he was like taking pictures of the tree, we're just gonna immediately let him go. But if he's got like shots of children's faces and bodies and highly suspicious, he's never allowed in that park again, or any park for that matter. He's lost his park privileges if he was taking photos of children. Children. The driver uh, is nowhere to be seen. Search the car. Do we have probable cause? Interview any potential eyewitnesses. Wait a safe distance for the driver to appear. Well, yeah, we have probable cause. It's on the stolen car list. Uh, let's see. 
just wait for the driver to appear. Awesome! Not awesome! Damn this game! Now the mayor's gonna be pissed. Shouldn't have sent the two worst cops. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't send the two worst cops. There, I sent the... I sent middle ground. Okay. Suspicious individual. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. All right, so that that was the right decision, sending those. I didn't want him to escape. Uh, Mr. Boyd, I'm opening Freebird's first martial arts club for my first exhibit and want to hold a sparring match where one of our my students takes on the toughest cop. After the fight, I'll teach the man a few tricks, something that will help him out on the streets. That, that sounds totally reasonable. Uh, let's send her, cause I, I'm not. I'm, she's probably gonna not win the fight. Her her stats are too low, but her stats should increase. That's what it's about. How's the investigation going? I. Oh, all right. Details. Nothing so far. Okay, I don't know how to handle that. That's, that's just the pause button. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that was the pause button. All right, homicide. Oh, I read it. Your detectives present frames, different versions of what might have happened at the crime scene. Detective is mole. Yeah, yeah. We got three new frames. Oh, investigation then. Let's find out. Okay, I get it now. They get it wrong half the time, but a good cop can separate fact from fiction. If they know how to look at the case materials. The more professional detectives working on the investigation, the better their instincts. To get your suspects, you'll need to figure out, well, how do we know there's multiple? Could only be just one suspect. You'll need to figure out how the true sequence of events at the crime scene. You'll need to figure out the true sequence of events at the crime scene. Using the frames you think likely, sometimes with a little guesswork thrown in, you can add it all up, but the sequence fails, but you can add it all up, but the sequence fails. You're probably telling the wrong you're you're probably telling the wrong story. Okay, I didn't quite understand that. Maybe I ran it wrong. Yeah, like why would there be a car and a building? Oh, okay. Well it was a neighborhood, right? They drove by in a sedan, and they shot like a machine gun. Okay, well, they drove by in a sedan and shot it. I heard a few muffled shots. He got what he deserved. I don't remember the car in the neighborhood. It was quiet. I never heard shots. Okay, so a silenced weapon is looking probable. But a machine gun is not looking probable. Okay. So he heard a machine gun, but when you're drunk, your hearing does kind of go. Your vision gets blurry, but a big object like a car, you'd still be able to recognize. But your vision and hearing do get affected. So he could have heard a machine gun, but be mistaken because he's drunk. But seeing a car, you know if you saw a car or not. Heard a few muffled shots. We got two people stating they heard... One guy said he never heard any shots, and he doesn't remember a car. And then one person says he heard shots. So I'm thinking that this one is in fact correct. Drug war. Uh, we're going to get rid of that one. Because we don't know... We, we don't know about that. I, we, we're, we're pretty sure he got shot by a science weapon. A fight at a bar. <clears throat> Kevin's throat bar. Okay. A bartender reports that a couple dancers started fighting over tips and a cat fight broke out on stage. Really? Really? Fight, over fight at the octopus restaurant. A bartender reported that a fight has broken out between a patron and the bar and the bar's bouncer. The man, apparently drunk, 
I climbed on stage while a local singer was performing and tried to sing a duet with her. Alright, Chief, I just, they, they need to make that background black. I mean, not black, solid white. So I can see the black text. Okay, Chief, I just about nailed the Jap a couple times, but he was too fast for me and won on points. I don't really understand all the rules, so I just kept track of points very well. So I can't keep track of points very well. But he was alright, even showed me a few tricks after that match, and I got carried away a little and pulled my, and pulled my back. Think I could take the day off? She went from 90 to 180. Yeah, you can have the day off, because when you come back, it's going to be bad. Oh, my God. I remember who it was. It was the chick. And Esso. And Esso. Okay, quite the money. Okay, quite the money. Looks like we have a situation here. All right, Kenneth Thorpe Bar. On stage are two strippers going at it, and it's gone beyond arguing to a full-on cat fight. You mean normal fight? The bouncer is fast asleep, clearly too wasted to handle the situation, or he should be fired. The drunken patrons are happily watching the fight. Shut off the music and turn up the lights. Listen, girls, cut the crap and... Oh, this is gonna get serious. Alright, shut off the music and turn off the lights. The strippers continue fighting, obviously the obvious of police presence. Watch strippers go at it and don't interfere. Ask the bartender for a bucket of cold water to throw on the combatants. Step onto the stage and try to separate the girls. Who did I send? Yeah, let's... Ah. At least no one got hurt. Alright, no one got I sent the two worst ones. Austin's not bad, but she's not the best. All right, they're making their way back. Like the time doesn't really go up like that. All right, ah, fingers caught. All right, that one was simple, simple. All right, we did good. All right, uh, who asked for the day off? It was you. Ordered to work tomorrow. No, I want to give you the day off. That should be good. Alrighty. Thank you everybody so much for watching. This game is quite fun and I'm very much so enjoying it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.